Welcome to Kanini Kalvi. So this video we are going to see the problems on CPU scheduling. So already uh, in the previous video uh, we seen the theoretical concepts of uh, CPU scheduling. So in the four first four algorithms we have problems FCFS, SJF, Priority and Round Robin. So we will see examples for each algorithm. So first one is FCFS first come first serve. A process which requires the CPU first is allocated the CPU first. So in the process first CPU request and the process first execute. Pannado. So in the main uh, this algorithm is non preemptive. Apra average waiting time is not the schedule. So what is the non preemptive solder? So CPU if you process execute pannit, and the process execute and the process is not the execution of the process. Where the process is allowed. So now we will see this example. So now we will see this example. P1, P2, P3. A bus time is the process of execution time. So P1 is the execution time 24 milliseconds. P2 is 3 milliseconds. P3 is 3 milliseconds. So in FCFS, we will order one by one. Execute. So first P1 execute, then P2, then P3. So in the order, we execute. So now we will draw a gun chart. Drop. So in the chart, we will we can able to find the waiting time and turn around time. So, if we have our execution, we will start at 0th millisecond. So, first P1, P1 execution time 24 milliseconds. So, from the 24 milliseconds, we will execute P1. So, 0 will start up to 24 milliseconds. P1 will execute. Once P1 execution is done, so next day, what process is P2. So P2 is the bus time 3 milliseconds. So now 24 la P2 is the execution start. Pandra. So P2 is the bus time 3 milliseconds. So 24 is the start. Of 27 la P2 is the execution complete. Hai so third process P3 is the bus time 3 milliseconds. So now 27 milliseconds P3 is the start. Pandra. So that is the bus time 3 milliseconds. So 38 milliseconds. P3 order execution mode, you know. So in the mari one by one order, we will execute the FCFS scheduling. First come, first, first serve scheduling. So in we have to find the waiting time and turn around time. But over the process, you know. so P1 is the time. So here we have P1 region. Okay. So this is starting time. So normally starting time is the waiting time. So starting time is 0. So in the 0 button, 0 millisecond is the waiting time for P1. That is ending time. P1 is the ending time 24. So 24 is the turnaround time for P1. Similarly, P2. So this is a segment for P2. So starting 24. So 24 is the waiting time for P2. Ending is 27. It is the turnaround time for P2. Similarly, P3 segment is here. So that is starting 27. So 27 is the waiting time for P3. 30 is the turnaround time for P3. So some sometimes questions la average ke paanga. So idu moon value ninga sum pani average at the karno. Are they married turnaround time or average ke taanga? So you have to take average of these three values. So this is a FCFS scheduling. So now we will go to the second scheduling, short test job first scheduling. So short test job of Dina, the process which has the smallest CPU burst will be executed first. So in the process of the execution time come here go and the process nama first execute pannano. So either uh, more than one process or a bus time or a execution time rig up dina FCFS nama follow pannano. If end the process of bus time 5 milliseconds rig up dina and the FCFS order follow pannano. Okay. So in the one the advantage FCFS a compare pannano average waiting time reduced argo. And then this is another important point in the algorithm either preemptive or non preemptive. So FCFS la nama baton that is only non preemptive, but this is either preemptive or non preemptive. So now we will see one example. Actually, this is non preemptive case. In the next video, we will see problems of for a preemptive case. So in a four processor P1, P2, P3, P4, other execution time burst time 6, 8, 7, 3 milliseconds. So SJF la end the process uh, come yana execution bus time ago other first execute panno. So in P4 the come yar 3 milliseconds. So we have to start with the P4. So if a gun chart parna. 
So, we execution P4 start. So, always start from 0 to millisecond. Now, P4 is bus time 3. So, 0 is 3 P4 is execute. So, once P4 is done, the remaining 3 process is the process of bus time. So, we have P1. So, P1 having the bus time 6. So, next P1 execute. So, in the 3 start, P1 is bus time 6. So, 9th millisecond P1 is execution complete. So third one P two P three इधर एंड कंपार पनेगा. So P three is having shortest bus time. So seven रखे. So next we have to execute the P three. So nine ला start पन्द्रो. इधर उड़ा bus time seven. So nine plus seven. Sixteen तला P three उड़ा execution मुड़ जरो. So इन्हों ओरे process left that is P two. अदर उड़ा bus time eight. So नमस sixteen ला start पन्द्रो. Sixteen plus eight twenty four ला P two उड़ा execution मुड़ जरो. So इन्हों मारी which process having the smallest bus time that is executed first that is SJF so like FCFS we have to find a waiting time and turn around time so now P1 paranga. so this is a P1 segment that is starting time 3 so 3 is the waiting time ending 9 9 is the turn around time similarly P2 so P2 last time so P2 segment la starting 16 that is the waiting time 24 is the turn around time similarly this segment P3 segment starting is 9, so 9 is the waiting time for P3, 16 is the turnaround time for P3. I'm a P4 in the starting larga. so that is starting time 0, 0 is the waiting time for P4, and then this ending 3 is the turnaround time for P4. Similarly, question la average ketangna, so you have to find the average of these values, that is average waiting time. Similarly, average of these values, that is average turnaround time.